exactly. So what is, what is uh, can we talk about the ripple effect of, of good data governance? I imagine having processes and procedures around access management doesn't just protect your assets, but probably can be a huge benefit for any sort of compliance regulations you might run into. Oh, there are so many downstream goodies <laughs> when okay. it comes to, <laughs> to good data governance. You know, the obvious one is risk reduction. You know, you're limiting exposure, all that good stuff. Uh, but people also um, are starting to share ROIs on doing this, the operational efficiencies that are gained by getting yourself organized, by automating things like entitlement review, like automating the joiner mover lever process. So not only is it good hygiene and makes a technologist's life easier, uh, but there are clear and, and, and wonderful case studies on how this actually saves money for companies. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so speaking to people who are interested in doing this type of work, uh, who might be listening out in podcast land right now, what are some skills that you should have in areas of interest to start a career working on data governance and data management? You, I, you know, you obviously have a great computer science background, uh, did, but does this require extensive technical background, computer science degrees, or is the tech something that you can learn as you go? So that's a great question. And we, you know, debated this internally when we started to grow and started to recruit and looking for, for people that had this kind of skill set, which is rare. Not a lot of people know how to do the things that we do. Right. And we always find that folks that come from an infrastructure background mm. um, have a leg up, you know, understanding the storage systems themselves, the messaging platforms, how end users collaborate. I mean, that's where I personally started as well for my in my professional career. Mm -hmm. And it made it much easier for me to expand my horizons and truly and deeply um, understand what a security vulnerability was, how entitlements work, because I understood the technology itself. So I would recommend anybody that's interested in security that may be unsure or, or wants to maybe give something else a try, go go work in an IT shop, go manage an hmm. infrastructure, okay. uh, you know, go work on a storage team or a network team. You'll learn so much naturally and organically about data, about governance, about security. Um, and it becomes so applicable as you start to help companies, you know, build policies that are achievable and practical. Okay. Uh, so to that end, as you said, you, you, you kind of want to be looking over the shoulder of people who do this kind of thing. Can you speak about the importance of collaboration and mentor-mentee relationships in cybersecurity and IT? It's very, very, very important. We are a small group of people in the big scheme of things, and cybersecurity is still a pretty new field considering yeah. um, you know, how long technology's been around for in general. Um, so it absolutely requires a lot of mentorship. It acts, absolutely requires a lot of apprenticeship. Um, I also think it's great to, to give it a go on the vendor side. We call that in our office. The dark side. Okay. <laughs> Um, and kind of get a lot of flavors, right? Yeah, um, yeah. You, you, you have huge labs, you can tinker. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of our companies like ours and in our eco ecosystem have innovation labs. We have right. built out training programs to get people acclimated quickly. Um, so it's a great place to get your start in security. And then it opens up a lot of doors and a lot of options. New episodes of the Cyberwork Podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn to stay up to date on all things cyberwork.